Yo, yo, I'm just Lorenzo. Let's kick this off with what to play. And you need to play Shadow of War. Let me show you why. Shadow of War is a 2017 third person action adventure game that combines stealth and parkour elements with hack and slash gameplay in a story driven open world. This game is the second installment in the series and is set within the 60 year gap between the events of The Hobbit and the Lord of the Rings sagas. The story picks up where Shadow of Mordor left off and we rejoin our death denied heroes, former Gondor Ranger Talion and the elven wraith Celebrimbo, aka the Lord of Light, spotting an opportunity to defeat the Dark Lord Sauron once and for all our duo, using their newly forged Ring of Power, will dominate Sauron's orcish minions and turn his own army against him in a war of dark and light. But as war rages across Mordor and victory seems all but certain, will loyalties be tested as we find out that our heroes may not be fighting for the same end? Good luck, Talion. Okay. That's enough of the Shadow of War history lesson, it's time for something a bit more hands-on and deadly. Like me, do you enjoy killing orcs with a multitude of weaponry? Good, you're in the right place. Let's get stuck in. I've got you now! Show me 
Someone's dying for this. Okay, 
So you've probably had enough orcish killing for one lifetime. Am I right? If your answer to that question was yes, then you need to go play another game. As for the rest of us, the orcish killing has only just begun. It's time we dive head first into Mordor to see what else there is for us to do. So, if dominating any and every orc in Mordor in an army building frenzy was not time consuming enough, the task we can complete to achieve this is as follows. Nemesis missions are specific instances in the game where you can witness the Orcs of Mordor undertake in specific challenges to advance their stand in Orcish society. These challenges range from rival captains fighting against one another in duels, ambushes and even executions to captains proving themselves against the beasts of Mordor or just recruiting more Orcs to their cause. And finally, we can witness the celebratory victories in the form of beasts. We can choose to intervene or just let these events play out. The choice is entirely up to you. What's it like to know you'll be dead so soon? Your threats are pathetic! I'll show you pain you can't even imagine! So sweet. So, so, so sweet. Try and catch me. Miserable coward! Fight me one on one! Rank has its privileges, so I'm killing the captain last. This is Mordor, you miserable clubs! You... I see it! Come running out with a Graug behind him, or the Graug will come out with him in its belly. Either way, be ready. Why did I do this? Kill it! Vendetta quests are online missions where we are given the opportunity to avenge other players who have fallen victim to Orcish captains. Thank you enough for walking into my trap. I'm positively quivering with gratitude. <laughs> Thank you. 
think you understand, my love. I will not be ignored. And if I can't have you, no one can! orcs enter, one orc leaves. In other words, you can send your orc followers to fight other captains, or each other. It's risky business because death is permanent, but the rewards are sometimes well worth the risk. Just don't get attached. Ha! I'm not impressed. My wrath knows no bounds. I'll end you. Fortress Assault. Like in the main game, we test our orcish army against other players' fortresses for great riches and prestige. On the flip side, we can also get assaulted, so make sure your defences are on point. Orcs, man the barricades. Taking shark balls were fifty per cent. Here, that number drops to zero, and this man filth drops along with it. This fortress is guarded by more than walls and traps. It is protected by a shroud of darkness. Those who approach it tremble. Those who enter it vanish. The lads are ready to do or die, master. As am I. When the bright lord marches on a fort, that fort gets conquered. It was true at Shark Boars, and it's just as true here! Right then, it's time to lay it on the line. Shadow of War is an awesome game, hands down. And in my opinion, I honestly thought nothing could beat Shadow of Mordor as the best Lord of the Rings game I have ever played. I was wrong, big time. That nemesis system is legendary. And yes, this game does have its problems. But let's face facts, this game has it all. It's got an epic story. It's got amazing characters and an awesome open world full of orcs for us to explore. That's all just Lorenzo's boxes ticked. So come on, Rangers, what have you got to do that's more important than playing Shadow of War? The fate of the world is at stake. Probably. Thanks for sticking around and watching What to Play Shadow of War. Don't forget to hit me up and subscribe to my channel for more what to play game in action. And remember, here it's game time all the time.